Hello, my students. Today we are going to revise the conditional for the prep stage. And you know the conditional is the rule of if or unless. And after we finish, I'm going to tell you what is the difference of using if or unless. Let's go to the conditionals. And the question is, how many conditionals do we have? How many conditionals do we have? We have got the zero conditional. We have got the first conditional. We have got the second conditional. And in prep three, we have got the third conditional. This is the new one for prep three. This is the one that we will take if we see the difference between the three of them. So we have zero, first, second, and third conditionals. We have got four conditionals. And let's begin with the first one, and it's the zero conditional. The zero conditional is our first part in this conditionals. And let's see what is the form of the zero conditional. If we ask what is the form of the zero conditional, it's F plus. The first sentence is present simple. The first sentence is present simple. And the second sentence is also present simple. Again, F plus present simple and present simple. Two present simple tenses, as you see. And let's see an example here, for example. When I say, if you heat metals, they expand. If you heat metals, they expand. Heat is a present symbol and expand is also present symbol. If you heat metals, they expand. Another example, if you put wood in water, it floats. If you put wood in water, it floats. As you see, the two verbs, put and floats, are in the present simple. Here, I am talking about the first usage of the first, con the zero conditional, it's the hmm, facts, the facts. I talk about facts that never changes, as you see in the two examples. And I can use the zero conditional for another usage, and it's habits. For example, if I feel bored, I usually phone my friend. If I feel bored, I usually phone my friend. As you see, feel and phone, both of them are present simple. Here I talk about habits. Here I'm talking about habits. So, we know now that the usage of the zero conditional facts and habits, and both of them are present symbol and present symbol. Present symbol in the first one and the present symbol in the second one, as you see. Let's go to the second part. And the second part here. I am going to talk about the first conditional. 
the first conditional. The first conditional consists of what? It's F plus present simple, present simple. And in the second part, I use will, can, or may plus infinitive. Again, the first conditional F plus present symbol, then will, can, or may, plus infinitive. Like what? For example, I have got a friend who has an exam next week. I tell him, if you study hard, you will pass your exams. As you see, study and will pass. This is something like a prediction or something like a possible thing to happen in the future. Another example, and here I can put F in the middle. For example, I will punish you. I will punish you if you do that again. I will punish you if you do that again. And here, when I put F in the middle, you see that the future will plus infinitive came before F. And after that, I put the present symbol, the word do. I will punish you if you do that again. As you see, I will punish you if you do that again. So. What are the usages, the usages of the first conditional? When can I use the first conditional? I can use the first conditional when I talk about something which is possible future. Possible future. I can use the first conditional when I talk about something like a promise, like threat, or something like a prediction. All these things that can be for the first conditional. That means all the usages of the first conditionals come to to the future. They are used for the future. And now let's go to the second conditional. Let's go to the second conditional. So we have taken the zero conditional, the first conditional, and now we will take the second conditional. What is the form of the second conditional? The second conditional is F plus past simple, past simple. And then I can use would not well, could not can, might not may, because these are the ones that come with the past symbol, would, could, or might, plus infinitive. Again, F plus past symbol, then I can use would, could, or might, plus infinitive. And when can I use the second conditional? Number one. I can use the second conditional when I talk about something which is called 
unreal imagination. Unreal imagination. I imagine something which is not real. I imagine something which is not real. Like what? For example, I talk to someone and I tell him, do you know my friend? If I were rich, and as you see, I can use the word were instead of was in the second conditional. If I were rich, I would, apostrophe D is a short form of would. I would buy a car. If I were rich, I would buy a car. As you see here, it's past symbol, would plus infinitive, but all of this is just imagination. Why? Because the reality is I am not rich, but I imagine. I am not rich, but I imagine. I imagine something which is not real. In this case, I will use the second conditional. Another example, someone says, if I were a bird, I could fly. As you see, if I were a bird, I could fly. Here, this is something which is impossible to happen. So he uses the second conditional. So again, as you see, the first usage of the second conditional, when you talk about unreal imagination, but I have got a second usage. And the second usage here, when you gave a piece of advice, I can use the second conditional when I gave advice to someone. Like what? For example, I tell someone, if I were you, I would help my parents. If I were you, I would help my parents. This sentence equals in the meaning of you should help your parents. That means this is a piece of advice. I give you advice to help your parents. And I tell you, if I were you, I would help my parents. As you see, this is the usage of the second conditional. So again, the zero conditional is for the facts and habits. The, set, the first conditional is for possible things in uh, promise or threat or prediction about the future. The second conditional is for unreal imagination. I imagine something which is not real or when I gave a piece of advice to someone, I advise him to do something. So I use the second conditional. And now let's go to the third conditional. Let's go to the third conditional. What is the form of the third conditional? The third conditional is, let's make a shadow, then we will see the third conditional. What is the form of the third conditional? The third conditional is F plus past but not past simple. It will become past perfect, past perfect. And after the past perfect, I will use would, could, or might, plus not infinitive, plus have, plus BP. Would, could, might, plus have, plus BP. For example, if we get one sentence and we will make it the zero, first, second, and third conditional. 
For example, if you study, you succeed. I am focusing on the form. Present symbol, present symbol. This one is what? Yes, this one is zero conditional. Next one. If you study, you will succeed. It's present symbol. Then I use will plus infinitive. As you see, this one is what? Yes, this one is second conditional. And then you can say if you, sorry, I'm sorry, this one is a first conditional. I'm sorry, this one is a first conditional. Then I say if you studied you would succeed. As you see, it's past symbol would plus infinitive. This one, as you know, is a second conditional. Past symbol would plus infinitive. But look at the third conditional. I say, if you had studied, if you had studied past perfect, had plus BP, then you would have succeeded. You would have succeeded. Would have plus BP. If you had studied, you would have succeeded. Okay, so this one is the third conditional. But as we see, this is the form. But I don't know what is the usage of the third conditional. Simply, I use the third conditional to talk about, look at me, unreal past. It's the only conditional that talks about the past. Unreal past. For example, I talk to one of my friends and I tell him, if you had come to the party, Last week, you would have enjoyed. As you see, I am talking about a past time. I am talking about a past time, a situation in the past. The sentence is talking about the past. That means, this sentence means what? If you see, it had come past perfect, would have plus BP, would have enjoyed. And that means what? That means you didn't, you didn't come, you didn't come to the party. You didn't come to the party. So I told you, if you had come to the party, you would have enjoyed. Locontigate you would have enjoyed This is the meaning of the third conditional. So I use the third conditional when I talk about the past situation. It's F plus had plus PP. Then I use would have plus PP. Another example, I would have given you the money yesterday if you had asked me as you see f in the middle would have plus pp would have given and here we have got the past perfect had asked i would have given the money yesterday if you had asked me
لو كنت طلبت مني This is the usage of the third conditional. So, we will go to the difference. What is the meaning of the word unless? Unless equals in the meaning the word if not. That means unless is a negative meaning of F. Unless is a negative meaning of F. For example, if I ask you to choose the correct answer, if you say, unless, unless you study, you will, then I gave you two choices, succeed, or fail. You know, unless means the negative. Unless means if not. That means if you say, unless you study, it gives you the same meaning of what? It gave you the same meaning of if you don't study. So when I say, unless you study, the correct answer is you will fail, not succeed. Because unless gives you the same meaning of the word F not. Unless means F not. And remember, in the first conditional, I can replace the word will with can be equal in the meaning the word can or may. And in the second, and third conditional, in the second and third conditional, I can replace the word would with the two words could or might. I can replace the word would with could or might. This is all about the conditionals. And now let's answer some questions related to it. Now we will look at these questions and we will choose the correct answer. Number one, you would have signed his name in the corner if he spaced the picture. As you see, we have would have plus BP. This is a third conditional. So the answer is had painted. If he had painted that picture. Number two, if water freezes, freezes is a present symbol, that means I need a first or second conditional. But from the meaning of the sentence, you see that I'm talking about a fact. So it's a zero conditional. So if water freezes, present symbol, I need another present symbol. It becomes a solid. It becomes a solid. Number three. It's a betty he can't drive. It would be useful if he would plus infinitive. I need a past symbol. If he could drive. If he could drive. Next one. Ben would have studied medicine. Again, you have would have plus PP. It's third conditional. So if he to a medical school, the word admitted gave me the same meaning of accepted. Can I say if he had accepted or if he had been accepted? I think it's passive. So the correct answer is if he had been admitted to a medical school. Next one. When you put too much water in rice, when you cook, it gets, because this is a general information, and I can put when instead of F in the first condition, in the zero conditional. If Ahmed's family meet Mona, I am sure that they will. This is a first conditional. 
because this is about a prediction in the future. I think I left my watch at the house. If you find it, this is a question mark. So can you call me? Can you call me? If you find it, can you call me? Next, we would have bought a new villa if we, as you see, would have bought, would have plus PP. It's a third conditional. If we had had enough money, if we had had enough money, if Beher, really my friend, he would call me, would call, would plus infinitive, it's a second conditional. So I choose was. If children healthy, they learn to walk. This is a zero conditional. I talk about a general information. If children are healthy, present symbol, they learn to walk at about 18 months old. If he, if I had had time, it's past perfect, I would have gone to him, but I, I talk about, about the past. The third conditional talks about the past. It's had had and would have plus PP. So the correct is to choose didn't have time. I didn't have time. Your room better when you go back if you had made, had made. So I think, you know, it's a third conditional. So I use would have looked. Next one. My neighbor had stopped making noise. I would have called the police. I call the police if he didn't stop. So I need a word means if he didn't, if he hadn't. So it's unless, unless my neighbors had stopped making noise, I would have called because unless here means if they didn't or if they hadn't stopped. Number 14, if I didn't want to go to the party, I, you see, it's didn't want, that means it's a past symbol. I use would plus infinitive, wouldn't go. Next one, we wouldn't have any money. And be careful, this is a trick because you don't have past participle. So if you look at wouldn't have, this is a second conditional, not third. And the second conditional is used to talk about the present, not the past. So the answer is, but we work hard. Next. If you, in my position, what would you do? Would plus infinitive, would do. If you were in my position, past symbol, what would you do? Next, we would see, can you see it's would plus infinitive. We would see you more often if you didn't leave so far. I want a past symbol. Next, how was your trip? Was it good? It was okay, but we would have enjoyed if we, okay, but this one is not for you, but for, but for means without, but we don't have, but for this year. So let's go to the next one, number 19. I didn't see you when you passed me in the street. If I had seen you, apostrophe D can be had or would. I, you know, it's a third conditional. I would have said hello. That's all about today. I hope that you have understood the lesson very well. Don't forget to answer the homework. Thank you so much and wish to see you all happy all the time. Goodbye.